Hello there, internet. Magwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today we're embracing the underdog as we're gonna play some Yasuo in a deck that I've showcased on this channel uh, a couple of weeks back, actually. And a deck that I've been constantly undermining just because it's built around Yasuo, and the general consensus is. Yasuo is not that good of a champion. I even went on quite the ramble as I designed my uh, Katarina Battering Ram list as to why Yasuo is not really as competitive as other champions. But honestly, as I gain more and more experience with the card itself, and I, I have been building around it again and again because I love the challenge of playing, you know, the more underappreciated champions, right? I start to realize that I may have been wrong, and uh, honestly, I'm very excited to be wrong in that regard because Yasuo is one of my personal favorite champions to play with. He's just absolutely satisfying, and one of the key things that I think uh, regarding Yasuo is that um, there's two things that I want to talk about here. First of all, I think he has a lot of potential as a tournament deck. Believe it or not, uh, I believe uh, Yasuo can be designed, or a Yasuo build can be designed in such a way that it can take on the Masia mid-range with Zed really efficiently, and therefore uh, counter it. And in a, a tournament environment with a Conquest format, you could potentially utilize a, a, or specialize in a lineup that is strong against that deck, which is very, very prevalent in the competitive scene. And second of all, I also believe Yasuo may very well become a tier one monster when a new expansion hits and he gets more stun support. Because right now, there are only a, a few handful of cards that actually work really well with Yasuo. I think the main two cards that enable Yasuo to be competitively, competitively viable, and the reason why I was able to reach top 25 in Masters rank with this deck specifically, is Intimidating Roar and Minotaur Reckoner. I think these two cards are what really enable Yasuo to get outstanding value. Intimidating Roar can act as a one-sided board wipe for you if you have Yasuo on the board while also enabling you to level up Yasuo pretty quickly with just one spell as it has a really good, like this card is just really solid against Demacia, it's really solid against aggro decks with spiders. It's just generally really strong against the vast majority of decks out there and with Yasuo, you can get a, a very, very powerful value swing. And even without Yasuo, it can be a great way to stall out an incoming attack as you're trying to build up your mid to late game. As this deck, you know, you can tell is a little bit beefier and greedier than, than usual, right? And Minotaur Reckoner is, I think, the most key card in this deck uh, alongside Yasuo. As you're able to get the stun effect going on at the beginning of every round. And this leads to some high control capabilities that you know if you're piloting correctly and you know when to pass uh, as like th this makes really good use of the initiative system if we manage to get minotaur reckoner on the board with diaswo we can apply a lot of pressure to the opponent if they're developing a unit that that's very key for example like karma we're able to utilize the initiative system to really put them uh force them to play into the round uh, tapping themselves out before you do so that you can be more reactive and thus get the upper hand, right? Like, this may not make much sense, what I'm saying right now, especially to, like, newer players, but, like, at a high level, Minotaur Reckoner has enabled me to bypass some really tricky matchups and has been pretty much the MVP of the deck alongside Mina Swiftfoot, which I have up to two copies uh, from the prior version of the deck. This deck has been uh, optimized from before, as we're also running a couple of Elixirs of Wrath and a full set of Twin Disciplines as Mina Swiftfoot is just a monster with Yasuo, like especially against Demacia and just mid-range decks in general. It's such a massive swing in your favor. If they manage to deal with Yasuo before she resolves, it's still fine. You're still recalling three enemies and setting up a very strong body on the board. And I, I've just been really happy with her. And obviously, uh, with Green Glade Lookout, we can enable her to come in for, you know, less than 9 mana, which is a pretty expensive play, right? But I've been loving Mina, and uh, she's one of the reasons why this deck can really just pull the trigger against some other, like, mid-range based uh, unit decks, right? So, this deck is, uh, the game plan is rather straightforward, even though... 
I say that with a lot of my decks, but you know, trying to like simplify uh, what's going on here. We're trying to develop uh, the likes of Green Glade Lookout and Fae Blade Twirler. One is a nice chump blocker slash enabler to, you know, it's kind of like our an, an Avaros in Sentry, but instead of drawing us a card, it enables us to play our big boy dudes uh, earlier on in the game, which can be absolutely crucial, right? And Fae Blade Twirler is our prime engine at two mana. I don't think you can build a Yasuo deck without Fae Blade Twirler. She is amazing with sun effects and can snowball out of control really fast. Her main enemy are barriers which can, you know, ignore her quick attack status. And uh, we don't really have that many ways to deal with that, barring stuff like Wool of Ionia, unfortunately. But, you know, barring that, if we're able to stun our opponent's board as we go for an open attack, she gets really high up there. And uh, there's a reason why I incorporated two copies of Elixir of Wrath, basically to combat one of this deck's biggest weaknesses, which is Frostbite-driven decks, like, for example, Ezreal Frostbite, uh, amongst others, or Ash. Uh, with ca with cards like Elixir of Wrath and Twin Disciplines, we are able to, you know, once we're Frostbitten, and get that attack pumping up again, so that our quick attack is uh, yet again enabled, or our Yas our leveled up Yasuo, sorry, is uh, able to uh, strike again, right? So the main reason we're playing Twin Disciplines though is to protect Yasuo from removal. Yasuo is actually a very important component of this deck, which is kind of I'm not sure how to label this. It's kind of like a mixture between mid range and control as uh, we really, we have a very flexible game plan, depending on what we're facing, right? But regardless of the matchup, we want to be keeping Yasuo alive, which is what Twin Disciplines is there to do. Excellent against Shadow Isles base control decks with stuff like Grasp of the Undying or Piltover and Zon with Get Excited. We're able to bypass the uh, single target damage based removal with this uh, neat spell that we were not running before. And we still are playing two copies of Spirit's Refuge for extra protection for Yasuo, but mainly to uh, enable some huge lifesteal swings as we can give uh, Spirit Refuge to Yasuo and then stun some shit. And every time Yasuo strikes, we're getting that health back. So that can be absolutely clutch against aggro-based matchups or any sort of matchup in which we're being pressured and the opponent's trying to race us before we go to our big plays, right? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the deck list right there. The Nye support is still really neat, but now that I incorporated three copies of uh, Twin Disciplines, I felt like I could take out one Seal Tempest and one Deny and ease up my curve in that regard. And yeah, man, this deck uh, absolutely killed it for me in the last stream that I had with it. Uh, I just kept on winning and winning. I mean, you know, we did lose some games as well. Like today's gameplay is going to feature both wins and losses. But generally speaking, the deck had a, a tremendous win rate. And uh, it got me pretty high up in, in, in Masters. And I was very uh, impressed that uh, Yasuo was able to do that for me. But like I said, I've been playing this deck for a while. Mostly in casual, though. Because like I said, I've, I've deemed Yasuo like, less competitive just because reasons, right? But every time I play this deck, it doesn't feel like a low-tier deck at all. It feels like a really competitive deck. And it just works, man. So hopefully you guys try it out and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, because, yeah, it's been working like crazy for me, and it is an absolute blast to play. Like, I'm a huge fan of Yasuo, uh, and I, I can't wait for a new expansion to hit and for us to get more support for him. And, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay that I got for you today. I think it's pretty slick, and, yeah. Thank you for watching my videos every day. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the daily uploads. Love ya. I'll see you tomorrow. We need to change the board, by the way. Think you're fast? Cute. Why is he taking so long? Like, we, we know you want to remember us on turn three. Like, why, why is he taking so long? Pick on someone your own speed. <laughs> nothing to worry about if you have nothing, nothing to hide. hide. Magic has no place here. I'm going to go for the intimidating roar just to pump these two up. Yeah. I try. 
trust my instincts. Investigating. Stop there! Justice will be served! Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Justice! Root out magic! My call! I brought you to run. You're gonna summon your own speed. like the wind, always by my side. I'm actually gonna pass here. My because I want to kill Karma. I want to kill Karma immediately. You should stay back. Now we have our own deny, which is nice, but it doesn't really matter if Karma hits the board. Because they can deny our own. Yeah, it doesn't matter with Karma. But if he doesn't have another Karma, then. Good. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Feet were made for Roman and kicking. Set him up. We'll knock him down. That's fine. Back. I dare you. I will keep us safe. Cool, sir, bro. You're dead. Minus 29. Top 100, Yasuo. You know what? I'm going to make that my stream title. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so Ezreal is um, is a scary matchup for sure uh, because Frostbites handle our game plan really well. I do like the Spirit Refuge though. I do like the Shadow Assassin. I, I even like the Minotaur Reckoner, honestly. Like I'm gonna drop one. We don't need to be particularly fast against Ezreal, especially now that we don't fear the uh, the Elnux as much. But this sort of matchup is a good example as to why I want some uh, some twin disciplines instead of all. Like I, I I like Spirit's Refuge. I like Spirit's Refuge because uh, of the life steal against aggro decks. For the homestead. Not and ready. Night falls. I'm not gonna attack with the Asu anyways because uh, Brito Steel is highly likely. So I'm gonna attack with her first. Scout him out a little bit. I go ways to find in mushrooms. And now with the Jeff is like the wind, always by my side. A chill in the air. Light the signal fire. Yasuo! Yasuo! I just hope he doesn't have another thermo. He's playing into a thermo incorrect here. I mean, I, I may as well go for it. You pay, I fight. Don't thermo me. This is why twin disciplines. Oh my god, thermo me. God damn it. Fool ya. Sleep is for the guiltless. I'm gonna deny this. Because that that really puts him at range to level up uh, Ezreal, and we wanna we're gonna slow that down. If you could back it up, they don't know what they're up against. If the journey doesn't get you the rope, right? Time for a true display of skill. Soup. 
Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Eventually, you'll run out of frostbites. While you can. Charis. Fuck yeah. Get me that health back, baby. There we go. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Pick on someone your own speed. Hey! Hey, baby! There we go. Nice. I keep forgetting to change the board. Guys, remind, remind me after this game to change the board. You have one job. Alright, so it seems we're facing a pretty aggressive deck. Pro probably spiders with, with Hecarim. Th this guy lives like one month ago. <laughs> Still, this guy ha has not let go of Hecarim. I, I don't think you can play Hecarim without like, you know, stuff like Dawn and Dusk anymore. And justify it. Let's drop you. I think we dropped this entire hand, to be honest. Okay. It's not great. But we do have the combo. The question is, can we make it alive? Up until the combo, we'll see. I know what lurks in the shadows. Oh, Shit. Who's my favorite? It is you. Yes. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! I don't bite. Death is like the wind, always by my side. The finest battlecaster in Noxus steps up! Let's take a real close look at the action. No more running. That sucks that he had exactly four. I could have gone for the intimidating roar. I could have gone for the intimidating roar there. Let me change into something more comfortable. To prevent, uh, it, it wouldn't have made a difference. I go where the road takes me. Some things never dull. Yeah. To be fair, we drew a pretty late game curve. Maybe my opponent makes a mistake. Maybe he, he chokes and he plays like something onto this board. The people are my strength. I follow only one path. 
my own. I got pretty, pretty cocky. Entropy. Why you do this? Well, this is gonna be awkward. Why you do this, man? Why? Why? We're gonna go for the open attack here. As we practice, team. Bring the others. I'll bear with them. The order rewards its faithful. I think I, I can really show this. Like the wind, always by my side. I cannot hide. I see you there. Call the reinforcement. Ooh. Some things never dull. You cannot escape. Master. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Of all weapons, the past cuts deepest. I'm worried about a Will of Ionia here, because he's playing this with Will of Ionia backup, but I, I gotta play the Minotaur and Conquer. Like, it's a five yes, mana. That's one way to do it. It's a five mana Minotaur, come on now. That's the Will of Ionia. If the journey doesn't get you the road, mate. Pay or bleed. Rough technique. Good results. Pay or bleed. Rough technique. Good results. Scared stiff. You never did believe me. No cure for fools. Keeps having like backup for deny, which is obviously problematic. But we're gonna try. Does the wind flee, or does it follow? Fear. Honor wasn't worth both our lives. Feet were 
were made for roaming and kicking. Yeah! Myself. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Of all weapons, the past cuts deepest. The dark beckons. I will play my part. Set him up. We'll knock him down. Oof, we dodged the bullet there. Easy. All right, that's two Yasuo's down. Woo! And we know he doesn't have a deny. We know he does not have a deny. Dangerous out here, kid. I can handle myself. Feet were made for Roman and kick. Unless he top decked it now. We'll knock him down. Oh, he does have it. Or he, he top decked it now, maybe? Reckoner. That's the third Yasuo down. That's three Yasuo's killed. We go in. Negotiations are over! Warned you. One foot grounded. Tails fool ya. You should stay back for hours. Sigged should have sagged. That game's a good example as to why, like, Minotaur Reckoner is... Oh, yeah, baby! Mogwai, where do you come from? Uh, you, you mean, where do I live? Uh, I live in... in Malaga, Spain. I think we can keep this hand, more or less. I want to keep the Deny. Because he could be up to some crazy shenanigans. Reporting it. There's Timo. I could have kept the Steel Tempest, but I, I don't think it's where I want to be at right now. I'll scout ahead. This. I feel so much better with Twin Disciplines, for sure. This deck really wants Twin Disciplines. It's important to keep Yasuo alive. I could play you. No, but I I I need the I need the blocker for Timo. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. The 
well. Get back. Alone, we see things as they really are. I face my fate. Your turn. The Yordle here is with me. I know you, 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 would, you would likely play Teemo, but I don't want to take risks. Hang on, Cern. Plus, if he plays Teemo now, I can just uh, Arachnoid Sentry it. Another day in the field. Journey doesn't get you the road, mate. No cure. I will follow this path until the end. That may encourage him to play that again. Success is planting your mushroom trap. Now we got Yone with uh, the Nye backup. Does the wind flee or does it follow? Uh, it, it, it blows? I feel like I contributed to that conversation. Yasuo is just so damn satisfying. <laughs> He's the best. Pick the wrong row. Go start, bro. Down from the trees. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, the Gaku. Belch. I know this may seem weird, but I, I have a deny backup. First step the hardest. With the these yordle I see. Probably should have still targeted Teemo. Thermogenic Beam. He, he played a full set of it too. That, that's the third one.
Man, what if he topped like, like a dawn and dusk? Okay. Like Fiora would say, no more mushrooms. At last, I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. My best. I know, Timo. You, 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 you did alright. Yeah, Lux, Lux is actually, but Lux has grown on me though. Like I, I, I like her singing. I don't know. Interesting. I like that elixir of breath. I don't want to trade this with a spider. Anyone hurt? <laughs> You're kind of a dick. Anyone hurt? <laughs> what the fuck, dude. Uh. Hmm. Let's assault you. I see you there. They're here. Sound the alarm. Arigato gozaimasu. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? I'm gonna play Yasuo. I need just a moment. Some things never dull. If you ain't hurt, you will be. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Ah, shit. Oh, I was thinking, I was thinking, um... To be fair, he would have been able to finish me off anyways. Ah, damn it. No, I would have I would have had deny backup. No, but I would have not I would not I would not have been able to play refuge and deny. No going back. True Fragorian, welcome. Arrows at the ready. Look what I found. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Come on, boy. I gotta develop uh, a unit. Our strength is yours. Close the distance. Stay back. Victory requires a sharp blade. Patience and virtue make a true swordsman. Arigato gozaimasu! Darius, 
fight for me. I fight for Noxus, not you. I will bleed. I thought you were. None shall oppose me. You are mine. For glory. Face me. Noxus will rise. Face me, Shorthorn. I earn my breath. Fate with me. Scurry, weakling. Noxus never dies. They need just a moment. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. You should stay back, cowards. Maybe I can bait him. What I mean by that is I can I can potentially bait him to attack with uh, Glory Seeker onto my Reckoner. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Take it. Smart. That's a good play. I fight for Noxus, not you. Stand and defend! Line up! Only the strongest become Trifarian. I could've gone for a four, uh, a more blown out attack here. To the point. Show them the might of Noxus. Should I have gone for a more blown out attack? I probably should have, right? No one gets in my way. What have you? Fight for talk later. You should stay back, cowards. They cannot hide. A tongue. Going somewhere? Let's see what you've got. Not. I forgot this man was playing Ash. Control one, control two, control three. I'm getting warmed up. Swiftly now. Intruder, get him. No, no, no. Ain't nobody got time for that.
play my part. Honestly, pretty cool deck. Pretty cool deck. I I, I liked it.